All right, man, it's been a minute. It has been a minute, but I got my list out. I've got some stuff I wrote down, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this thing right off the rip. This is what we're talking about today. I finally decided to install the update for Halo Infinite, launch the game, and play a match. And I haven't done that since Christmas, so. Let's talk about it. What's up, guys? My name is Buckeye. I guess um, I'm doing a lot of different things on the internet nowadays, but this channel is Buckeye, so thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you're new to this channel, uh, I've got a long history of making Halo videos on this channel, among a lot of other games and a lot of other things over the course of the last decade. Um, so I'm a well-seasoned event when it comes to gaming videos. I just struggle from the extremely difficult ailment that is called consistency and uh, motivation. That was a joke. Anyway, if you couldn't tell, Halo is my favorite game that I've ever played. I played Halo CE when I was three years old, and ever since then, Halo has been my game. And as such, I'm very passionate about it and have gone through the ups and downs and the roller coaster that has been the Halo community over the last decade. Now, with that, Halo Infinite. I first want to discuss why I stopped playing the game in the first place. And honestly, it's pretty much the same exact reason that everyone else stopped playing the game. There was really nothing to do in the game. The gameplay itself is really great and very fun, but there is nothing to do with it. Something I can kind of compare this to actually is when Destiny, the original Destiny first launched back in, golly, what was that, 2014 or something like that when that came out? When Destiny first launched, the gameplay loop, the actual core run and gun gameplay was really, really great. And it was from Bungie, so it made a lot of sense. It was really fun. It felt really great to shoot the enemies. It was a good time. But what it severely lacked from was content and any reason to actually go play the game. That's exactly where Halo Infinite has been since it launched. I mean, I guess at this point, can we even call it a launch, honestly? Which is so unbelievably frustrating because it took 343, what, five, six years to put this game together? And then it launched with rows of duct tape over everything. And what's crazier is that they were going to release it a year before. I can't even imagine how bad it would have been then. And this was what is just such a really unfortunate situation. Because like I said, it's fun to play the actual gameplay, the using of the weapons and the sounds and the art direction and everything is really good. But there's just nothing to do. And man, if 343 has ever dropped the ball, it's now. Because at least with Halo 4 and 5, the gameplay was eh. There was definitely people who loved it and enjoyed it. But overall, Halo Infinite has been broadly received as the best playing Halo in a very, very, very long time. So the fact that you actually have a well-playing Halo and one that the broader audience of the gaming community actually enjoys to play but you give them no reason to play, you have lost a significant portion of today's gaming user base, including myself and a bunch of other seasoned vets. That is what's really frustrating for me because I was actually looking forward to this being the game that revitalized the series. And in some ways it definitely has, but in other ways it's fallen back into the same cycle that every single 343 Halo game has done. Hype, release, lots of people find it interesting, and then it falls off a couple weeks later. So for me specifically, a couple things that I didn't uh, find in the game that caused me to stop playing was the ability to choose your own playlists. Now, of course, this has been remedied somewhat, not to the extent that it needs to be, but to a point it's been remedied now. But for me, I've always been a lone wolf team slayer kind of player. You know, I just I like to go in and play slayer. I don't really like to play the objective modes all that much unless I'm specifically going and trying to play competitive stuff, playing ranked or something like that. Generally, when I play, I just like to play Slayer. That's my preferred game mode. And it took them months to bring Slayer into the game. Now, as I just loaded it up, there's definitely more playlists available now, which is cool. And I definitely want to jump into some of these ones like Last Man Standing or Last Spartan Standing, I think is what it is, something like that. Uh, I definitely want to jump into some of these for sure. But the point still stands. It took them months to bring a simple playlist like Slayer into the game, and that just blows my mind. <laughs> it probably sounds like a joke, but I'm partially being truthful when I say this. One of the biggest reasons I stopped playing the game is because I played way too many matches of Oddball. And 
Oddball's cool and all, but golly, I don't want to play 10 matches of Oddball in a row. Moving on, why haven't I been playing, right? So they have done some of these remedies. They have brought some new things into the game. Why have I still not played? Well, this is a little bit more of a complicated question. It's more personal than it is gameplay related. It's more along the lines of me just being very busy. I just graduated college with my bachelor's degree. I just moved into a full-time position with my job and my career. I've had a lot of things going on, so I haven't really had the extra time, I guess, if you will, uh, to put into a game that, for all intents and purposes, has been failing, if that makes sense. There's definitely been more reason to play the game now than there was before, but there still hasn't been enough of a reason to really want to reel me back in. Now, what actually does make me want to play this game? Because I guess maybe some people could think that their love for Halo as a whole could fall off due to this game being the way that it is. And for me specifically, I actually don't think that's the case. And the reason why I say that is because even though I haven't been playing Halo, I have been religiously watching the Halo TV show. And that's a topic for another video, but I'll give you a little quick TLDR. I actually enjoy the series a good bit. There's a lot of things wrong with it, but there's also a lot of really good things about it. And I enjoyed it personally. I'll talk about that in a future video. But I say that to say that I love Halo and I always have and I probably always will at this point. And I just want it to succeed. And at this point, I was watching a video a little bit ago. I don't remember who was talking. I'll just list off a couple different names and you can decide for yourself if they made the comment. Uh, it might have been Kevin Cool. It might have been Wizzo. It might have been... I was probably one of those two. Um, <laughs> they mentioned that Halo Infinite is going to be kind of getting like a spiritual re-release with Season 3. Because with Season 3, we're supposed to be getting campaign co-op and Forge and, you know, potentially campaign DLC. Basically, that should be the time when the game is finally where it should be. And hopefully that's also when we get the certain affinity game mode slash battle royale slash told you so kind of thing um that's what we're thinking or that's what i'm thinking i should say and that's kind of what i'm looking forward to so i'm kind of hitting two birds with one stone here i finally have been able to kind of cool off and not be so incredibly busy i have some more downtime so couple that with the fact that halo infinite is kind of at a low point but with some new things so it gives me an opportunity to jump back in the game, get my feet wet, and really try to start grinding now with the hopes of there being brighter sunsets on the horizon. So with that said, uh, if you haven't been playing Halo Infinite and you normally play video games, do I think you should jump back into the game? I only played one match, so I can't exactly tell you. <laughs> However, uh, just from my perceived information on social media, because I still follow the game and its community every single day, uh, the answer would probably be no, not yet, uh, but keep it on your radar because in the future there's definitely going to be a reason to jump back into the game. I just don't think that time is right now. And honestly, I think that 343 needs to take this time and just recognize the fact that the game is in a hole and it's going to stay that way until they come back swinging. And I think that they should just take the opportunity to not really focus on the numbers and the player counts right now. Just focus on making a better product and then pushing it to us when the time is right. I, I swear, if you're going to take another six years to do that, huh, not sure you'll still have me here. But anyway, uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you're still here, then definitely give, a, give the video a like. That'd be really cool. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I hope to be making more videos here in the future. And like I said, I definitely will make a video talking about my thoughts and opinions on the Halo TV series. I actually enjoyed it a lot. A lot. And I know most of other vocal people did not. Um, so I'd like you to hear my side, if that makes sense. So if you want to see that, definitely subscribe. Uh, check out my websites. I got a website. I actually do a lot of like photography and videography on the, that's my career. Uh, and then also check out my, my social medias. All those things will be in the description. But I appreciate you stopping by. I will see you in the next one.